Hey everyone, here's a short uh, demonstration of how to use Grasshopper. Uh, first of all, run, run through the standard download instructions, download and install it on your computer. Once you do, if you're on a Mac, you'll have a, a small icon on your, on your uh, desktop that will uh, represent the Grasshopper. And you can choose that and choose Bring Window to Front. It always will bring up this window right here. Uh, which is your access to dial and dial out using your computer. When you you can also uh, install Grasshopper on your uh, smart device, iPhone, Android, and so on. You do so through the App Store, um, and once you do that, you'll use your sta your standard login, your faculty login to AI. It's the same login to uh, set up your your Grasshopper um, access. So. Uh, the the app the app on the iPhone works a little bit differently, but it's basically the same thing. You'll have a, a sort of a when you open the app, it'll it'll use your phone on uh, in your iPhone to dial out, but it will have its own. It'll look it'll use the number that's been provided by AI. It will not use your regular phone number. So students will have access to your cell phone number, just your uh, Grasshopper number, which is um, to them will will look like uh, an 800 number with an extension uh, coming from AIP. So there's more involved in setup. I mean, when you install it, you'll immediately be able to dial out, but the one of the primary purposes is to handle uh, voice forwarding and uh, voicemail and so on, and setting your greeting up. So we're gonna go to that now. The uh, way to access that is right under the little gear icon, just choose settings. <clears throat> when you do that, it'll take you to the Grasshopper website. I'll ask you to log in. Again, you would use your same login you've already set up. So this, will, this is the entry level screen and what you'll see here is a list of messages that you receive. So this is a kind of a dashboard for Grasshopper. This is where you'll manage all your messages and where you'll manage the setup. What we're gonna do, it's not real clear when you first come in, but we're gonna use extensions to set everything up. Apps is really a separate thing. You don't need to go here. That's for like adding external apps, which we don't have not purchased. Um, if you do run into trouble, the help is, is quite useful. So you can use the help to access it. But really the area where we control options is through extensions. Note your phone number right here. Um, and as you go, here's all your messages that, that you'll receive. We'll come back to this in a second. It's pretty self-explanatory, but clearly you just play the message. Um, you can also uh, click more and see more of it. For example, in your first couple of months, it'll actually will, um, you know, will show you your, your message. All right, let's go to extensions and walk through that screen. You arrive at extensions, and uh, again, it's got your number. If you set up a forwarding number, then it has that there, and then you can edit. So you can always forward your calls, um, and you can do it in a way that um, uh, makes sense for your work hours. So you click edit, and once you do so, you'll you'll be at a page where you can um, control your your settings. Uh, the first is just the the extension. Again, click here to view details. That just shows you um, your extension number. You can't change that. But you, uh, you haven't set up a phone pin, you can set up your phone pin right here. And then, um, I, I'm not sure why there's another person that's on this extension, but um, uh, I guess don't worry about that. I'm guessing that may be the technical person that set up the phone to begin with. So you have your extension name, that is something that you, you can change. Uh, you enter your time zone here if that's not correct and so on and just just save it at the end so that's a that's a fairly easy thing to set up no, nothing complicated there next is forwarding uh the phone so um this is call forward is turned on i mean so you just click off or on turn it on and then to edit it you go to edit and here's where you then control the settings for forwarding so you don't need to answer your calls through Grasshopper. Uh, you can call out through Grasshopper when you're, say, doing your student calls. But when you receive calls, you can just transfer to any phone you like, um, and you control when it when it actually um, when it actually uh, forwards through. You can set the ring amount of ring ring time that it will go for, and then you have three options for how Grasshopper is going to handle the call. Now, the, if you want to know they're coming from Grasshopper, I'd suggest using calls will be announced when you pick up. Uh, this way you know that it's actually coming through Grasshopper, otherwise you'll just see um, a standard number on the end. So if you, if you choose that option, you'll, you'll know it's coming from Grasshopper, you'll know that it's an official you know, work-related call. Um, the other option is that is basically when you, when you pick up the phone, when you answer, it'll go straight to you. And then the um, third option is that callers will be asked for their name, and that'll be announced to you. So that's another option you can do, certainly do. Um, this will let you know that's coming through Grasshopper too. 
Then you can actually set up when you want the number to receive calls. So to do that, you select the options, you, you click on this menu, and uh, you can do a custom schedule, um, and then just set it up. Again, this is not a difficult thing to do. Um, I think I set up mine for the default, Monday through Friday, 9 through 5, and custom schedule. Then you just add time slots for when you're going to accept these calls. So, um, business, you know, if you want to do business hours, that's the most obvious thing to do. Otherwise, you'll just add a time slot. And of course, you have to add in, basically, you're adding the time when the calls will be forwarded. If they're not, don't have a time slot, it won't be forwarded, and you will be, uh, the call will go to voicemail, basically. Uh, so, if you're not being forwarded, the caller will go to voicemail. Now, you could have a number of forwarding numbers. So, if you have a number of phones, say you're a landline and a cell phone, you could actually set them up to progress hover to forward to them either in a row or you know uh, based on different different uh, periods so for example you could control one schedule for the week one schedule for the weekend I mean it really is pretty configurable the way you do that is you click options and then you can um, set up how you want it to happen so you know in j just once uh, it'll go until someone picks up um, show the call ID of the grasshopper number not your own number and then it'll just play the standard greeting um, when you do that. To add a number, just click Add Forwarding Number, and then you simply, it just double, double it basically duplicates what you've set up here for the second number. So again, you type in your number and set up how you would like it to call you. I'm going to cancel. I don't really have a second phone to set up. Um, next area is the messages, uh, how to control that. And again, it's very easy to do. You simply do edit. Um, your messages will be sent as attachments. So there's two ways to get messages. One will be well, there's actually a number of ways. So you can get them on the app on your phone. You can also get them in the dashboard where we are right now on the website, Grasshopper website, or you can get them emailed to you. So uh, you've got three ways, and all three can work. So you can have all three going, get, get voicemail at all places. So all you do is type in the email address that you want to use um, you know, to receive your voicemail. Uh, it'll give you a link to recording. You can play it back. I think the first three months, it gives you a free um, translation uh, device so so it'll service so it will actually write out in text what the interprets the message to be and again these are options you can set up so you would just add the option you can have the message itself forwarded to another extension if you'd like I have that turned off I just would prefer email so I've got it turned off but if you have a uh, you actually want to send the message to a phone number you can um, so cancel that if you want to add another email address, simply click here and you'll just add another email address. This just duplicates, so it's no no big thing. Finally, the last thing to set up is your voicemail. Now, there's a standard greeting that comes with it, but it's pretty generic. You might, you might I would think you'd want to add your own um, and so on. So the way you do that is simply to choose change greeting. If you don't have a greeting yet, um, I've already set mine up, so it, it probably might say record greeting or something. I'm not sure. I can't remember what it actually said, but regardless, you click on the large green button and go to create new greeting. When you do that, it'll then open up a, a way of recording everything. And you've got a couple options here. You can have a professional read it for you if you want and pay $35. You can just record via your phone. So if you use your phone, it's gonna basically call you on your phone and have you play through recording. So that's one way to do it. If you already have a file you've recorded on your computer, um, you can just upload it. So you click upload and then just, it'll upload it into the Grasshopper system. Um, the way I used was just record by computer. I just used my microphone and I recorded my uh, my message. So just click record. Um, it'll bring up a record um, window. And you just click right here to record. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. Now it's actually, as soon as you click record, it's actually recording. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And when you click the, the square, it actually stops the recording. And then we'd click it to play it. So I'm going to not keep it, of course, um, since I've already have my recording. So just to repeat that, so you understand, when you click the blue record button, so let's do redo. When I click that microphone, it actually immediately activates for the voicemail. And so as soon as I click that, it starts to record. And basically, I'm recording my voicemail right now. When you're done, you just click on the red square, and you're all done. Click keep, and it uh, has you save it, give it a name, and then you're all set to go. I'm going to click redo and just cancel right out of this so I don't ruin my current setting I already have. And you can see how it gives it uh, the name voicemail greeting, gives it the date it was recorded, and so you have an identification that way. 
So that's how you set things up. Uh, note the save button each time. So you need to save uh, and, and close. So for example, we can save, save and close here once we've done our setup. Um, you turn things on and off if you don't want to use it. Otherwise, you save and move on. So once you're done setting up, it's going to really uh, all work through your Grasshopper app. Um, this is how you'll dial, dial out. You can see a log of your recent calls here. So you can see uh, calls that you've made. You can click on it and you get additional information about the call, how long it was, and so on. So you've got your own private log. By the way, this does log at a central system, so uh, supervisors can see uh, when a call was made and for how long it was made. And then you also have an inbox, and uh, this would sort of store all your, all your emails. Recent, of course, just brings up all your recent calls, uh, the log that we had before. Right here's the dialer. Okay, I hope this is helpful for everyone. Let me know if you have any, any more questions. Um, not too hard to set up and really a useful, grass, uh, useful application. We, we piloted it with uh, about a dozen faculty and everyone uh, liked, liked uh, all aspects of it, found it very useful uh, to use for calling their students and basically moving all their student communication into this um, app. If you, our, your plan is if it, our plan is that if you do have this Grasshopper app, all your calls should be with, through Grasshopper. So uh, both uh, you would list this uh, number that you have, right, this number up here. So it's got your toll-free number plus your extension. You would list that in your faculty bio, all your contact information. Um, you'd list on your email, signature, and so on. This becomes your official phone number. It's the official phone number you would use to call out. You would no longer use your iPhone or uh, home phone. Obviously, as I mentioned, you, you can use those devices, but using the Grasshopper app to make the call. Um, and it functions just like a regular your regular iPhone app. I mean, you can see how it's the same exact, same exact function. Um, looks exactly the same on the app on, on the iPhone. So I uh, hope this is useful for you. Let me know if you have any questions.